What's up, barbecue crew? Welcome back to Outdoors with Jeff. Well, today's the day. Uh, I'm gonna be assembling the new Char Griller Acorn Auto Comodo. And wanna give a special thanks to the folks at Char Griller for sending this out to the channel so we can show you guys some great cooks with it. But without further ado, let's get to the assembly. So we're starting by unboxing the Acorn Auto Kamado and you see we have the directions there. Here we have the grate and we got the blister pack and the axle. And this is the fan control. Next we have the ash pan. And we have the main body as well. And here's some more hardware in the handle. And the top rack. And we got some more hardware there. This was pretty well packaged in here um, and doesn't allow for damage. And you can see we have the lid right there as well. And that is the right side shelf, and this is the left side shelf with the controller unit. And these are the legs. And we have the bottom shelf and the heat deflector. So first, for step one, we're starting with mounting the leg supports onto the body of the grill. And each leg support has three screws, which are letter A, and we're just putting those on by hand. At this point, you don't want to you don't want to tighten anything down because you're going to need some of that play room to adjust that bottom shelf that we're going to be putting on. And we have all three mounts on. So at this point. You have two legs that have the square support on there and you look at the front of the grill and that designates which side those legs need to be on. So that's the front of the grill and that's where you're going to put those on and this last leg that doesn't have any square amount is actually going to go onto the back of the grill. And at this point you're going to take two letter A screws and two lock nut D washers and place them into the legs and we're not going to tighten those down we're just going to hand tighten those so that's the hardware set for each leg right there next we're going to get the shelf on for step three and this part is a little tricky but if you take a screw and get it on each side and this is why you need that play room so that you can get this shelf to fit in there. And you still may need to take your socket wrench and use it and get a little bit of leverage to get some of those screws in, but they will all go in. So you take two screws on each leg, on the front legs and one on the back leg along with the washers. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and tighten everything up with my 7 16th. And just alternate to make sure you're not pulling down too hard on one side. But you can go ahead and get everything tightened up and buttoned down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get the axle in for step four. And it just slides right on across. And you may have to give it a little push on the end, but you slide that in. And then you're going to take the wheels and make sure you put the spoke side in. And then you're going to come back with washer F and then use the cotter pin H. And then you're going to put the hub cap on, which is letter Z. 
And we're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. And we're going to take that back wheel and put the brake on and just turn that in and hand tighten that into place. For step five, we're going to put on the fan assembly. Make sure you point that up and you're going to take the four J screws and just hand tighten those in and then come back afterward with a screwdriver. For step six, we're going to put on the shelves and you're going to take the B screw and you're going to put the letter E washer, which is a metal washer on. And then you're going to put the letter G washer, which is a fiberglass washer on behind that. And you put that through with that fiberglass washer on the inside of the body. And you have the four holes and you go ahead and put that through. And this is on the left hand side where I'm working right now. So you're just going to hand tighten those in. And we're going to do the same for the front side. And on the right hand side, we're going to do the exact same thing. And we're going to come back and just tighten those down, making sure not to over torque because we don't want to damage that porcelain inside. And for step number seven, we're just going to insert the temperature probe into the hood of the grill. And we've taken the washer, the metal washer and the wing nut off of there. And that silicone washer is what's going to press against the back of the hood. And once you get that in, just put that metal washer on and hand tighten that wing nut down. And for step 7B, we're just going to take the four screws C, which has the blue Loctite on there, and just hand thread those in and come back in and tighten those down with the 7 16 For step eight, we're going to put on the handle and the handle caps are designated both left and right. So make sure you get the cording one and go ahead and put that on there and take that wing nut and the two washers and get it on there and just hand thread it in there. And the same thing on the right side, hand thread that one on in until you connect on both of them and then you can go ahead and tighten both of those down. For step nine, we're going to put the cap on and make sure you have that gasket pressed all the way against the top of that cap. And you're gonna take two A screws and tighten that down as well. And again, make sure not to over torque as to damage your porcelain inside. For step 10, we're just gonna slide on the ash pan. And this ash pan can go either way because there is no front vent. And we're gonna come back in and use the two clips on the side and get that securely in place. For step 11, you're gonna put in the fire bowl and make sure it's seated properly because of that vent coming off of the fan. And then we're gonna add the ash grate in there. And we're gonna add the heat deflector and make sure that the front is toward the front and the regular grate and the center grate and the top shelf. Next, we're going to put in the three hooks. And for step 13A, we're going to put on these two clips onto the temperature probe wire. And then you're going to take two screws and mount that onto the back of the grill, onto the body.
and you're just going to push that temperature probe connector through that grommet. And step 14, you're just going to push the power cable through the grommet as well. And for step 15, we're going to start connecting everything. I connected the power cable and we're going to connect the fan controls as well. And lastly, we're going to connect the temperature probe sensor. And once you have all those connected, you're just going to pull your cables tight and get some good cable management underneath here and place them in that clip up top. And your grill is fully assembled. Thanks for watching and be sure and watch the seasoning video that I have coming out on the Acorn Auto Kamado. And be sure and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this process. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Outdoors with Jeff. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when more content comes out. And also check out these videos here on the channel as well.